We're all here to be happy. That's what we're here for. Meditation promotes happiness. The more you can see what's going on, you, you wake up one morning and you decide the world's really good and sweet and you're happy with, and you're moving around the world and you're optimistic and you, and you wake up another day and you're upset and frustrated and the world is bad and, you know, that creates a cycle of bad. You wake up and you're still and it kind of reminds you that it's okay that it becomes a cycle of good. So any one of us who, you know, want the cycle of good to happen, want to be optimistic, want to be a, an inspiration, want to make everybody else's lives better so they can be better. If you're a man and you don't want to meditate because you're tough, you know, let the world be tough. If you're a man and you want to meditate uh, and you finally decide the world is okay, let the world be okay. That's, what, that's up to you. If you want a tough world, you want to figure out what it's like in prison and how to be mean all your life and have a mean life, you'll show it on your face. You'll show it in your physical. You'll be sick, be sad. It's up to you. The more toys you have, it doesn't make you happy. I got many rich friends who are very sad. Success is when you can be in touch with the happy thing inside you. Other than that, it's, it's not, there's no payment. There's no, there's no end to the amount of junk you can acquire, the amount of things that you could uh, invest in, the next business, the next, next girlfriend, the next, you know, it's always the next, you know, until you get in the box. And you're always, I can't wait till, I can't wait till, I can't wait till. The practice of being here, I can't wait to go to school. It's going to be all this stuff going on in school. Then you get there and it's like, I can't wait to get out of school. Then you, you know, people spend their lives like that. Meditation teaches you to appreciate now. And without that precious now, there's, no, there's nothing in life. What is cool? What your preacher told you is true. What your mama told you is true. You know, just having a happy, positive attitude. Uh, this is why I'm asking you to meditate so you can... Oh, it's okay. It's all right. Oh, you go outside and say, oh yeah, it's all right. They say, that's what they mean by cool. The meditator is cool. He's a guy who walks you and says, what's going on? They're going crazy. Really? Well, let's fix it. That's the cool dude. You want to hang out with him. He's the meditator. And you want to be that. You want to be the cool dude who's um, just moving towards his goals in life without frustration or anxiety or being separate from his, his, his power. This is what meditation does. It brings you close to your power. Focus. It's critical. You know, when, you, when you're distracted and you're moving around, as we all are most of the time, you miss all of the, the, the things that, the elements of whatever you're working on. In other words, Presence is the only thing that creates. You can't have an idea in the future or in the past. You can't be funny or laugh or be happy in the future or the past. So you need presence. You want to be able to walk throughout you know, your day and see what's in front of you. Watch the miracles unfold or whatever. You got you to see it. So that's, that's the only time you're there is when you're there. So meditation promotes stillness. When you're still is the only time you can think. And so when you have all these distractions and, 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 and you have all this noise in your head, you're not, you can't possibly do your job. You can't possibly be good. You can't learn. Learning comes when you have comprehension that from stillness. So meditation is the practice of, of touching that stillness. Transcendental meditation is different. It teaches a young person or any person to be still. And they get to understand themselves or they get to count their blessings or, um, or be still long enough to count the numbers in the math class or to do the, um, to do the, the science that's put in front of them or the English that they want to study or whatever it is. They get a chance now to focus. Anybody who's funding education has to know that the first step is for a child to be able to, to focus. Lots of kids are distracted. They desperately need meditation.